The Miami Dolphins disappoint us once again in a key matchup that we could have changed expectations and narratives and they failed, losing to the Green Bay Packers 30-17. to I'm here to break it all down. Now, this game started how the worst possible way. Uh, we get a great stop on defense, and then Malik Washington muffs a punt, setting the Packers up at the 10-yard line, and they score a touchdown going up 7-0. So that was the worst possible start, and that was the tone setter for this football game. I said it coming into today's game. The outcome of this game was going to be decided by which team made those mistakes, and the Dolphins, unfortunately, were the team that made this mistake. They beat themselves, shot themselves in the foot in the entire first half, offensively, defensively, and on special teams. So they lost the first half 24 to 3 so when you set yourself up in that big of a hole it's just bad and it wasn't just like the first two drives no it was the entire first half going into like the two minute drill into yeah the entire end of the first half was a debacle as well dolphins fail to get into field goal range give the packers the ball and then they get into field goal range and I, it got close towards the end of the game that could have been all the difference but like I said, started in the first half, offensively muffed punt, uh, penalties on offense that had gone away and they showed back up. I will say, once again, I don't think it would have changed the outcome of the game, but the Dolphins had a lot of ticky-tacky penalties and the Packers weren't. For example, the Johnny Smith penalty, Lucas Van Ness started it by shoving two in the face. They don't get a penalty. Once again, I don't think it would have changed the outcome of the game, but the refs definitely weren't on our side. Um, but yeah, we, we lost this game in the first half. Well, I will say, and I know no Dolphins fans want to hear it right now because we just lost a critical matchup, but I did enjoy the fight that we saw. Um, once again, we did technically win the second half, 14-6, to six, um, and we would have kicked field goals in situations if the score was different. Um, and once again, we were a failed for, uh, fourth and one conversion from making this a legitimate, like a two-minute drill to try and win the game. So they showed fight. Games previous of this scenario, I feel like we would have seen the Dolphins absolutely crumble, and instead of it being 30 to 17, it'd be closer to like 48 to 10. Um, so I enjoy the fight. I, they didn't quit, um, and they won the second half. They showed improvement. Um, they just shot themselves in the foot, and you can't do that against a good team. So it sucks. This is a game we really wanted to have. I'm happy of the fight. Um, I think they kind of disproved the cold weather narrative. They just kind of disproved the good team narrative. And it really came down to self-inflicted wounds. There was nothing really the Packers did that beat us. They they are great. There's a great team, well-coached. So obviously they did their thing. Um, but the Dolphins really just beat themselves with the mistakes. Um, poor tackling for sure. Um, so yeah, that sucked. Going over the stat line, like I thought Tua overall had a pretty solid game. He wasn't perfect by any means, 37 of 46, 365, two touchdowns. Um, he had a missed throw or two in the first half that could have helped get some drives going that may have helped settle things down. Um, but ultimately, like Tua, I feel like, is the only quarterback that is treated this way where like if he doesn't play perfect, oh, it's his fault. Tua can't play in the cold, but I mean, he just had a pretty solid game. Um, the run game was non-existent. I do think Raheem Mostert showed that he deserves to get more carries. Um, and I do think this was kind of the issue at the end of last year, and I thought we fixed it. I think it reared its ugly head again is, like, there has to be some level of commitment to the running game of go under center with, like, an eye formation and try and instill your will. And we struggled to do that. Um, we struggled running the ball. So, yeah, that sucks. And like I said, if Mike McDaniel can score from second and one, we had three attempts, I believe, and we failed on all three. If we score on second and one at the goal line, we could have potentially won this football game. Now, that might be a leap, but it would have been much more competitive. Um, so have to get clean that up because we're going to face good fronts going forward. In terms of playoff hopes, the Dolphins aren't eliminated. I said it prior to this game. This is our toughest remaining matchup. We lost 30-17. to 17. Uh, We showed up in the second half. Um, but the Dolphins had to go 5-1 and one in the remaining six. And ideally, that one loss coming to an NFC team. So ultimately, the Dolphins' backs are against the wall, and they have to run the table, go 5-0, and which is doable. Uh, I know that's what people don't want to hear right now, but it is doable. Two had a good game. Janu had a good game. Achan receiving had a good game. Uh, we saw Tyreek and Waddle get some catches uh, in the second half. So like, the offense needed to do what they did in the second half and the first half. They started slow all around. This was a team loss offense, defense, special teams. They started slow. You can blame McDaniel. Um, 
all you want, and that's valid. Um, but like I said, I'm proud of the fight. I think we're good enough to potentially make a run. We have two really tough matchups in the Niners and the Texans, and you can't take lightly a divisional opponent that we play in the Jets twice, and then the Browns on the road who have been playing good ball, have a good defense. So by no means am I saying we're going to go 5-0, and but we have the potential to. I'm happy with the fight. We showed improvement, and I think if the Dolphins played the first half like they did the second half, this would have been a much more competitive game with potentially us winning. Like I said, this game was going to come down to which team made those mistakes, and it was the Dolphins, and that's why we lost. It wasn't the cold weather. It was the self-inflicted wounds, but it sucks. I know people don't want to hear this, but Black Friday sale for the DolphinsDive.com. If you want to get some Christmas gifts, 30% off site-wide, automatically applied at checkout. Uh, deal ends Friday at midnight. So appreciate you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and hopefully the Dolphins finally turn this thing around. But it's probably too little too late, and there's going to be some self-reflection needed. But appreciate you guys for watching. Fins up.